I'm so glad you're having so much fun. Good morning, everyone. I'm Melinda Massone. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Lifestyle of Giving, and it's my great pleasure to be this year's event co-chair alongside Delanthe. Welcome, everyone. My name is Delanthe Dialvis, and I'm the Chief Financial Officer of Supply Chain Solutions at UPS and fellow event co-chair. Thank you to everyone in attendance uh, this morning, to all of you here in person in the ballroom, and those of you uh, that are tuning in virtually. Uh, it's so wonderful to see a community show up like this in support of um, all the work that United Way does in, uh, to help OC, most of the, the most vulnerable families. Um, just look around. This is the manifestation of neighbors caring for one another. This is one of the many examples of uh, doing things the OC way. Thank you. You know, this is our 19th breakfast, and I know our CEO will talk a little bit more about that later, but it is incredible what we've been able to accomplish, and each and every one of you in this room really need to be thanked. And I want to start out thanking Bank of America and UPS for their outstanding generosity and support as our champion sponsors. Will you please stand and be recognized? But let's watch a short message from Bank of America. When is a day more than just another day? When you're ready to do more with it, to make it just a little better than yesterday. At Bank of America, over 200,000 of us wake up with that simple purpose. And together, we put it to work. Bringing diverse perspectives to do more for all our clients and local communities. Making a meaningful impact that reaches further. Creating a world that's more equitable and sustainable than ever before. Because it's what's right and we're all better off for it. We are a team driven to make things better. We support each other, and we have the power to shape a better future. Not just another day. Thank you so much, Bank of America. And I am delighted to recognize my own team at UPS as fellow champion sponsors to sponsor the efforts of the breakfast here. Here's a short message. We live in a connected world. And what we're connected by is supply chains. But the truth is, supply chains are still driven by the same disconnected products and services that have never really truly talked to each other. And today, more than ever, the entire planet wants to know, how do we make supply chains better, smarter, faster, easier, Imagine, what if a company with a century of supply chain experience boldly looked forward, rethinking the rules, reinventing the process from end to end, moving the world forward, delivering what matters. Today, one company is uniquely positioned to bring this bold new vision to life. Thank you again to the UPS team. Now we'd like to thank our visionary sponsors. Please stand to be recognized as you hear your company announced. Edison International, Edwards Life Science Foundation, and thank you and your family, Melinda, for the sponsorship from the Mason Schaefer Family Foundation. Thank you. It's my honor to represent our Family Foundation today, but I also want to recognize our investor sponsors. So here we go. Arden and Max Gardner, Avenir, Pharmaceuticals, City of Hope, Orange County, Duchansky Family Foundation, Ernst & Young, Microvention, Next Home Solutions, Owl Foundation, and Pacific Life Insurance Company. Thank you for your incredible partnership in this program this morning. 
And thank you to our impact sponsors shown on the screen. Please stand to be recognized. And thank you to our support sponsors. Please stand to be recognized. Another big round of applause for all of our sponsors this morning. Thank you for helping to make the annual breakfast fundraiser the biggest one in Orange County. You know, there's a lot that goes into planning the Women's Philanthropy Fund Breakfast. And I want to thank especially the committee this year because I wasn't able to participate as much as I would have liked to, but they've done an awesome job. So I'd like to have all of them stand, all the event committee members who work so hard. This is a sold out breakfast. Can you believe it? That's how great of, of a job that they did. And finally, we'd like to acknowledge all of our important dignitaries in attendance. Please stand to be recognized as you hear your name, and thank you to all of those attending virtually. Chris Erickson, Orange uh, Unified School District Board Member, District Supervisor Katrina Foley, and her Chief of Staff, Nick Annas. <laughs> Turn things over to Sue. Thank you all for being here. It is so great. The energy in this room is amazing. And for those of you watching virtually, I hope that Energy is the same in your home or in your office, but it is wonderful to be here in person with all of you, so thank you. And I just love seeing all the photos that you're sharing, so please keep it up um, because we have those fabulous prizes for you that we'll announce at the end of the, end of the program today. But again, thank you all. And for those of you I haven't met, my name is Sue Parks. I have the great privilege of being the CEO of Orange County United Way. It is really an honor for me. But more importantly, I have been to every breakfast. How many of you have been to every breakfast? Okay, Melinda, I know Al is here somewhere. Where is Al kind of thing? Yeah, there you are. So, so anyway, I see some hands around the room. So that is so great. And if you're watching virtually, share with us uh, via chat how many breakfasts you've been to. And uh, these are 19 and counting. So we're very excited again to have this one back in person. Um, I'm going to do a huge shout out as well to the founding members of the Women's Philanthropy Fund who got this breakfast started. And I know there's some in the room. And again, if you're at home, please stand. Somebody will applaud for you, I'm sure. So anyway, um, if you're a founding member, please stand up. And thank you for getting this whole thing started. And again, for all of you in the room today and watching from afar, thank you so much for being here with us and for all your support. And before we get to the real reason of why we're all here, I do want to take a moment to recognize some very important groups that are here today. So I'm going to start off with my bosses because that's always a wise thing to do, right? And so with the Board of Directors of Orange County United Way, please stand up and be recognized. Did that, cut that over. Okay, and also the infamous men of the breakfast, or if, as we've nicknamed them, the mob. This generous group of men have come together to celebrate philanthropy and do it in some really creative and fun ways. Um, so let me turn it over to a couple of the mom members to share with you a little bit about what they're up to. Hello everyone, I'm Don Yon. We all know there are many social clubs out there you can be a part of, but we want to share with you and how to get involved with the men of the breakfast empowers you to become a catalyst for change in our community while creating opportunities to forge strong connections with like-minded individuals. Exactly. Hello everyone, I'm Sinan Panatsis, fellow chairman for the Men of the Breakfast, also known as MOB. The MOB supports Orange County United Way's Women's Philanthropy Fund Breakfast. We come together to explore common interests and connect with other business leaders while also helping Orange County's most vulnerable families transition from surviving to thriving from a one of a kind car collections with our Garages of Orange County series and other exciting networking events. This is where you want to be. Yes, not only are we strong in networking, but your membership dues 
go towards supporting Orange County United Way's impact hubs. You're helping OC students and families thrive by tackling poverty and housing instability through holistic programming. Programs like SparkPoint OC financial empowerment, food pantries, early grade reading, and more. Right now, the Women's Philanthropy Fund supports impact hubs at two Title I schools, Paul Revere Elementary in Anaheim and RH Dana Elementary in Dana Point. What I love most about being a member of the mob is I can meet influential like-minded peers with confidence that my money is going towards a great cause. What about you, Sinan? I'm excited about our amazing event lineup featuring world-class car collections. I love that these events bring us together and further fuel our drive to make a difference in Orange County. This is your opportunity to be part of a movement that is for good. Let's hear from Eric, a member of the mob. Eric? My name's Eric Goodman. I'm president and CEO of Mountain View Services, Inc. And I'm officially a new member of the mob. I joined the mob because of all the amazing things it does in the community, that it supports the Women's Philanthropy Fund breakfast, and of course, the cars. I'm also excited that my efforts are helping support children in our community. I hope to see you at the next mob event. Thanks, Eric. We're so glad you're on board. And to all of you out there who are looking for a meaningful way to give back and get exclusive access to unique experiences, we invite you to join us and become a MOB member today. Extraordinary men that are part of this group to Don and Sinan and the rest of our MOB members, Al, one of our founding, founding members. So please stand and be recognized and I think proudly wear your MOB hat if you've got it on. Let me think. So stand. So the major force behind the Women's Philanthropy Fund is Women United. This diverse group of over 350 local women actively champion our, champion our programs, which you're gonna hear more about shortly. If, you know, if you're a member, you know the impact that you're making. You also know that there are fun and educational networking events like the Local, Global, and Me series presented by Bank of America, which we're excited to bring back this summer. There are also volunteer activities like donation drives and kit assemblies and campus beautification projects. There's so much good going on. If you haven't joined Women United or the Mob, what are you waiting for? Um, there's information in your program and we'd love to have you part of this movement. So now let's talk about the profound impact of this event. It's been almost two decades. And this breakfast has raised millions of dollars to help local children and families through our own programs and through other nonprofits that help low-income women and families gain self-sufficiency. Your generosity has impacted so many of our vulnerable neighbors, and you all should be extremely proud of that. It is a true testament of, to what we stand for here in Orange County. Together, we work to inspire positive change. We strive to solve the most critical issues in our county. We are inclusive and we are kind. And we go the extra mile to take care of everyone and every, each other because that's the OC way. Let's hear it together. The OC way. All right, thank you all for being part of that. Um, as many of you know, we've been fortunate to work with our friends at Paul Revere Elementary in Anaheim for nearly a decade. And last year, we were able to launch a new impact hub in South County based out of RH Dana Elementary. We are so excited to share our progress in both locations. It is our pleasure to work with the principals and teachers of these amazing schools, and we are fortunate to have some of them here in attendance today. If you're here from Paul Revere or RH Dana, please stand to be recognized. So you heard Don in the video talk about our impact hubs. These impact hubs bring holistic, multi-generational programming that serves parents and their children and empowers them to reach their full potential. The Women's Philanthropy Fund has made possible two of the impact hubs Orange County United Way runs here in Orange County. Our friends at Edwards Life Sciences with us run a third at Washington Elementary in Santa Ana. So thank you, Edwards. On the screen, you'll see all the programs that we currently run at 
RH, excuse me, at Paul Revere in Anaheim. Over the last eight years, these programs have served and empowered 8,000 families. That's pretty amazing, right? 8,000 families. It has always been our hope because of this breakfast to be able to replicate the success in Anaheim for other vulnerable families throughout Orange County. And now I know you don't normally associate South Orange County with poverty, but at RH Dana Elementary, and our friends here from there could share more, 80% of the families that go to that school, the children are living in poverty, are living in considered low income, and nearly 50% are housing insecure or homeless. Is that stunning to a lot of you? Um, and thanks to your generosity at last year's breakfast, we were able to fund a pilot program. And I'm so excited about this. In its first year, the program successfully met our goal of helping 100 families. I always love that we collaborate a lot in this community and the Women's Philanthropy Fund was monumental in this achievement but we brought in additional support from local organizations and groups that you'll see on the screen. So a huge thank you to all of them for helping us reach that meaningful goal. And we want to do more. The point of sharing all this with you is to let you know that your gifts matter. They make a huge difference to families right here in Orange County. So thank you so much. We have so much more to do, but we can do it because that's the OC way, right? And now more than ever throughout Orange County, people and families need our help. I could go on and on as many of you know, but now let's enjoy hearing about the needs and the impact that you're making directly from some of the students and families who benefit from these programs. I am so honored to welcome back our longtime friends who some of you will remember from a few years back Micah and Jaslyn. Micah and Jaslyn, it is so great to have you back. We're ready for the OC Way Report. Take it away. Good morning, everyone. You may remember us from a few years ago. My name is Jaslyn, and I'm a sixth grade student at Paul Revere. And with me today is my classmate, Micah. Welcome to our special broadcast called the OC Way Report. Hi everyone, it's so great to be back with you all this morning. It's been a while since our last report. Jaslyn, should we give them an update and share how Orange County United Way is changing lives through its impact hubs? Yes, but before we do, let's show a clip from our last report and go down memory lane. Great idea, roll it. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Doing More. I'm your host, Micah, and today joined with me is my co-host, Jaslyn. And Micah, did you know that the WPF has helped each student at our school with their own Chromebook? Wow, look how small we were. I can't believe that was three years ago. We accomplished so many things to be proud of back then, and we are so thankful to announce that we are still excelling today. Little did we know, one year after filming our last report, we would face some of the toughest times at our school. But look at us now, stronger than ever. It's all thanks to United Way's Impact Hub, which are located at schools like ours and other centers for community life, providing students and their families opportunities to succeed through programs like Sparkport OC, the Food Pantry, early grade reading programs, and more. Jaslyn, did you know that not only the Impact Hub programs continue at our school, but some of them are now offered at RH Dana Elementary and Dana Point as well. Wow, that's really nice. I would love to hear from some students who participated in these programs. Absolutely. Let's turn it over to our field correspondent, Kingston. Thanks, Jaslyn and Micah. Today, I have the privilege of talking to students from Paul Revere and RH Dana. I'm excited to share their stories with you. Let's check in with them and see how the school year is going so far. What it feels like to be back in school is, it feels nice, like, it feels like i have remembering some stuff. I'm really proud that I'm learning addition. 
One thing I'm really proud of of this year is that I scored an 8.4 on my latest test, and now I read at an eighth grade level. I love hearing that my classmates are doing so well. Let's keep the good news coming and hear from Orange County United Way's Spark Point OC program. Before I started Spark Point OC, I was drowning in debt. Um, I had creditors calling me, and once I started the program, like my life changed. I was able to budget my money. I was able to pay off all my creditors, and um, now I have savings account. I have a college fund for my kids. My credit score went up. <laughs> It just helped me a lot. It's incredible to hear how the Spark Point OC program is helping so many. And I'm excited to report that this program is now offered at RH Dana 2. With me now is Marcella Ticas to tell us how this came about. Good morning, I'm Marcella Ticas. When you think about South County, you may think of it as an affluent area. But the reality is there are many financially vulnerable families who need the help to build toward a self-sufficient life. Thanks to the funds raised at last year's breakfast event, we were able to launch a pilot version of Spark Point OC at RH Dana to address these families' immediate needs, establish long-term goals, and teach them the skills to achieve financial wellness. In our first year, we reached our goal of helping 100 South County families. And I'm thrilled to report that the program is staying and will continue to serve even more families. I think the program is really, it's so important because it teaches people how to manage and make their life a lot easier. Before starting this program, I was depressed, um, things were not going well, um, especially being a single mom at that time with five kids. Um, it was hard, I was struggling a lot. But through the program, you know, I learned a lot how to f manage my money. I'm fixing my credit, which, you know, it's awesome. Actually, they helped me find a job. It's just been a good experience. It's just been really, really nice. And for Christmas, they even helped me with presents for my kids. Now, let's go back to Paul Revere and hear from my friends who have benefited from the food pantry. The food pantry helps my family by keeping our bodies healthy and letting our minds also healthy. The food pantry helps my family by saving money and not spending too much money on food. With the prices going up, with the meats and the milk and everything going up, it's very helpful for us because we could pay other bills, we could pay the rent. In addition to encouraging healthy eating through food pantries, Impact Hubs are engaging kids physically and mentally through extracurricular programs. Exciting news! More students received a Chromebook or technology backpack to help bridge the digital divide, thanks to generous donations. Let's hear from some recipients. We couldn't really like take our computer home before COVID. And now I have a full library of books at my fingertips which I can read and enjoy. My favorite thing about the Chromebook is that I could learn new things. I could learn math, reading, and science on it. My life was a little harder, but now it's easier with the Chromebook. Technology rocks! Micah and Jaslyn, back to you. Wow, thanks Kingston. It's so cool to see how much Orange County United Way is helping local families and students just like us. It really is. But there are still more schools and families out there who could use support. Do you think we could add an impact hub at another school before our next report, Jaslyn? Yeah, totally. With your help, I think we can continue to accomplish great things. Until then, take care and be kind to one another. That's the OC way. See you, see you next time. time. Bye. I hope you were as moved as I was, um, as I was here three years ago and several of my guests were as well, seeing the great opportunity being embraced and what an outcome. Um, let's give it up one more time for Micah and Jaslyn, even though they're not here.
I think for me, the most impressive part of these programs that we've been doing is they're not only vital and necessary, but they're sustainable. And this, because they're sustainable, we can replicate them. And that's why we're so excited to begin doing that in um, Dana Point, which is a neighboring city of where I live. These students have such bright futures ahead of them. They are full of hope, ambition, and are eager to learn but they need the support of this community and right here um, to ensure that they have all the tools to, uh, you know, all the tools necessary to succeed in school and beyond. Your generosity has helped us make the reality of what you just heard this morning with the Paul Revere. And now we have the opportunity to embrace another great adventure with um, RH Dana. So we're really looking forward to your helping us cultivate that experience for all those families that are expecting and looking forward to changing their lives in a way that they deserve to be. Yeah, today we can and we will make a difference. Uh, so will you step up and support these children uh, and families so that we can further develop our efforts and ensure even more lasting, long lasting change throughout Orange County? Any amount you give, big or small, will make a true impact and help us change local lives. For those of you who know me, I'm not really big on fundraising, and I tried to ask the board chair of Orange County United Way, because he does a great job, uh, to do it for me. But he said, nope, I'm on my own. So <laughs> pull out this card at your table. And if you're as moved as I have been in working with schools and the various programs that we've put together, the other opportunity is the Nordstrom pen. For those of you who remember, Nordstrom has so generously given us a pen so that you can fill out your card <laughs> and take the pen home as a reward. Okay, so that being said, if you're in the ballroom, take a look at some of the areas of opportunity and we'll go through them quickly um, just to again reemphasize what you've already seen. Yeah, and if you're online or prefer to donate online, you can go to, to our GoFundMe campaign. The link is shown on the screen. Again, any amount is so appreciated. We could not do this life-changing work without your support. Good morning, everybody. I am not baked into this script, and I'm sure Jessica and a few others are panicking right now, but my good friend here called me out. She does such an amazing job, one of the founders of WPF, and Delantia, who just flew overnight from Atlanta, UPS headquarters, to be here today. All right, isn't that wonderful? Fantastic. Listen, I just want to make a quick pitch. For those who don't know me, I'm Steve Cherm, and I'm the very proud chairman of the United Way Board. So many of our uh, board members here today, I thank you. But this is an opportunity. What's not been said this morning is we all know the world is different today. Parts of it are exciting. We're thrilled to see each other again. But there's a lot of stress in the world, and we're talking about places in our community that need your support. We can do this. We can make a difference and we can leave this morning and go into our day feeling better that we're making Orange County a community of class, a community of opportunity, and a community where we can all be proud to call home. That is the OC way. Please pick up your pen and donate Thank you. Okay, you can even fill in all of the circles if you want. 10,000 for the food, 4,000 for a campus beautification, uh, 3,000 helps a family financial empowerment support, 1,000 provides a stipend for a family member to meet their, to help them with their immediate needs, uh, 500, one client to attend a seven week financial, 250, a student with a Chromebook, and you saw how excited the kids were to have their own personal Chromebook. So with that, what else? I, you know, wow, this, this is such important uh, information to know. Um, and the impact that uh, the video showed us that these funds uh, have on the community. If you give $1,000, you have the opportunity to check the box in the pledge form and join the mob. So, uh, you know, get your brothers, your 
uh, friends, everyone involved, and you get an opportunity to be a part of the mob. Lisa, are you listening? I want you to sign up Pierre, your husband, which is my son, and he's not here because he's babysitting my six-month-old granddaughter. So sign Pierre up for the mob. I think he would really enjoy it. So you can sign up other people, if not yourself. Yeah, and I know my husband is watching this virtually, and I hope he signs up to be part of the mob today. So I want to thank everyone who has given this morning, everyone who has given before in terms of all of our sponsors, and you can keep on giving until the end of the program when we then announce how much we were able to raise at today's Women's Philanthropy Fund Breakfast 2022. So before um, we announce our four social media challenge winners and the grand total raised this morning, we want to give one final shout out to all of our generous sponsors who made today possible. So you'll see them on our screen. Let's give a round of applause again for all of our amazing sponsors. I think we all want to um, th give our thanks to the wonderful staff here at the Westin and everybody that supported us this morning. So thank you all, you amazing staff, for making such a wonderful morning happen. And I want to do a shout out to Amanda, the events team, but all of the amazing staff of Orange County United Way. Would you please stand? I want to thank all of you for all you do every day. Um, and I'm going to do a big shout out and thanks to our a wonderful, amazing co-chairs. So Delanthe and Melinda, up, give it up for them. They are so fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now you're all on the edge of your seats, right? Waiting for uh, who won those prizes. So um, without further ado, um, if you're in the room, raise your hand for a $50 American Express gift card. Roberta Cabrera. Somebody will come over to you. Where's your... Hello, Roberta. Someone will come over to you. None... Yeah, none other than Amanda. Okay, the Vision Electric Boat Rental two-hour Duffy ride, Nikki Clinton. Woohoo, Nikki. Can I come with you? All right, $50 American Express gift card, Marissa Mansoor. Everyone's in the room. There. And the Vision Electric Boat Rental two-hour boat ride, the second one goes to Victoria Garcia Torres. Congratulations. All right, now wait. There's more. Oh, just a reminder, and we are going to finish on time. So anybody want to give that a round of applause? I just think that's like a really big accomplishment. Um, don't forget your Nordstrom's pen when you leave. Don't leave yet, but the Nordstrom's pen. And do you all see those wonderful mugs from Alliant? Let's hear it for Alliant for those uh, mugs, too. Those are yours to take. Okay, and there's more. There's a lucky winner at your table for the centerpieces. So... Uh, let's see, if you have a home team sticker on the back of your program, the beautiful centerpiece is yours. Okay, now, drum roll. Can I have a drum roll? Woo! I guess everything. Everybody. Well, apparently everybody wanted some flowers today, so awesome. All right, I want to hear that drum roll. All right. So the total dollars earned at a breakfast without alcohol is $462,825.
And of course, if you want to keep giving, we are more than happy to support you because that's the OC way. Um, anyway, I just want to say that's extraordinary. It's exceptional. Thank you all for being here. I just want to say again, thank you for your generous gifts. What these gifts are doing, this 462,000, is going to help create bright futures for children and families throughout Orange County. Children like Micah and Jaslyn and Andrew and Ava and so many more. And we could not do this without your support. So again, thank you. And thank you for showing up today, showing up to the event and for your community. Thank you for stepping up and making the choice to make a difference in Orange County. Together, we're helping to ensure our students succeed, our vulnerable families gain financial security, and here in Orange County, to ensure that every person has a place to call home. In spite of recent events that challenge our community's strength and resolve, let's continue to be kind and support one another. Because when we're united, we have the capacity to solve our community's tough, toughest problems, touch lo local lives, and make lasting change. Because that's... You've got it. I love it. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you all very soon. Thank you all.